is Matthew Cratter from Trader University, and today I want to talk about Wall Street bets, the ongoing squeeze in silver, GameStop, and of course, XRP. Now, GameStop has been the perfect rocket ship, and we're really at a point where the establishment, where these big hedge funds, where Wall Street, where maybe the entire financial system is creaking under these strains. And what we have is kind of a, it's like a classic scene in a Quentin Tarantino movie where we have a couple people or three people all pointing their guns at each other and there's this standoff. What I'm going to argue in this video is that the establishment is trying to get people to exit, to sell their GME shares. And they're doing it through a large distraction. If you want to catch up on what's been happening with GME, you can watch my video from last week. But we've had a massive short squeeze. There's been a gamma squeeze among the option dealers. And there's really no way out of this until GME issues more shares or until Wall Street bets capitulates and gets out of their shares. What's happening now is that there's a big distraction going on. GameStop is actually down a little bit in the pre-market. Uh, I would have expected it to be much higher, except th there's been a lot of stuff going on over the weekend, obviously. There was a pump in Dogecoin, which failed. And now there's an, an attempt to do a silver squeeze that's being led by certain factions of Wall Street bets. These may be infiltrators. They may be bots. It's hard to say. I would suggest that this is meant as a distraction. The current market cap of silver is roughly, roughly one and a half trillion. This is a much, much larger market than GameStop. It's notoriously manipulated. JP Morgan just last year settled a lawsuit where they had been manipulating the gold and silver markets. This has been going on for a very, very long period of time. There's the famous example of Silver Thursday and this whole run up in the early in early 1980 where the Hunt brothers tried to corner silver, cause a short squeeze, they temporarily did, and then everything crashed once the exchanges raised margin. My message to Wall Street bets would be you are not going to be able to squeeze silver. You might be able to, it's up something like 10% in the pre-market here. This is not an interesting trade. This is a highly manipulated market. They're huge paper versions of silver that can be created at will and used to suppress the price. So what I would suggest is that there's there's some uh, large groups that would like Wall Street Bets people to sell their GME and buy SLV, buy silver futures, and try to participate in this squeeze. Now, one of the largest holders, a lot of people don't realize this, SLV is the ETF for silver. It's uh, supposedly backed by real silver. One of the largest holders is actually uh, one of the branches of Citadel, of Ken Griffin Citadel, which has been at the center of the scandal involving GameStop and Robin Hood as well. They have 3 million shares of SLV. If you're going to pump SLV, you're actually helping their investment management arm. This is the clearest sign that uh, this is not something that makes a whole lot of sense, in my opinion. Also, silver is really the wrong, it's the wrong commodity to target. This is a metal that used to be treated as money, used to trade with a monetary premium. That monetary premium is almost gone, which is why the gold-silver ratio has traded at the high end of the range for so long. Basically, gold and silver used to be considered metal in Europe. And once Germany moved definitively from what's called bimetallism, where they had both silver and gold in their currency, they moved to a gold standard. That was really the beginning of the modern gold standard, really from 1870 until 1971, when Nixon took the US off the gold standard. But silver is a fairly plentiful commodity. It's mostly an industrial commodity. It's used in electronics, etc. It has a much lower stock to flow, in other words, a much lower scarcity than anything like gold or Bitcoin. That combined with the fact that uh, it's highly manipulated by Wall Street makes this an especially bad candidate for a short squeeze. So I would suggest that Wall Street bets, if they're moving positions from GameStop to Silver, this is a huge distraction, a huge 
mistake. If you want to learn more about bimetallism, I'll link to this IMF paper that talks a little bit about the history. I'm not a huge fan of the IMF, but this paper is a very good, uh, provides some background. If you're finding this video helpful, I'd also encourage you to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button as well. Now, the other target from Wall Street Bets has been XRP over the weekend. Those of you who are familiar with my channel know that I've made a number of videos on XRP, which I will, I will link to below. This is a very scammy currency. If you are part of the Renegade group, if you're trying to start a revolution here, if you're part of Wall Street Bets, these are consummate insiders. And XRP has been a pump and dump from the beginning. Basically, there was this giant pre-mine of XRP. It was magically awarded to the founders and to Ripple Labs, which, which is the corporation at the center of it. This is a very centralized cryptocurrency. They're so centralized, in fact, that they're being sued by the SEC, two executives, and Ripple Labs itself. XRP moving up, uh, back up to the high 50 high 50 cents, up about 20% over the past day. If you are participating in pumping XRP, you are basically enriching scumbags. I would say alleged scumbags, because I don't know them personally. Alleged scumbags like Jed McCaleb, who just last year, in spite of all the videos I was making about this, he cashed out $411 million of his XRP. He's no longer at Ripple Labs. He was forced out but he's been dumping and dumping and dumping. He's had to slow down in the wake of the SEC lawsuit. But I wouldn't be surprised if he and some of the other insiders, if they're able to, have been dumping XRP into this, into this rally. So this movement from, from being long GME, moving that money into uh, assuming people don't have infinite money, no one has infinite money. If you wanna put one position on, a new position on, you have to sell an old position. If you're exiting GME shares, and it's looking at now that GME is down three or four percent, if you're exiting this to participate in a silver squeeze, you are playing right into the establishment's hands. I think this is a big mistake and a huge distraction. You're basically driving up the price of silver, which is owned, uh, the ETFs massively owned by, by Citadel. And you're also enriching people like Jed McCaleb and the founders over at XR, XRP. I would suggest that some, I guess some people at Wall Street Bets like XRP because they're being sued by the, S, by the SEC. In this case, I would have to side with the SEC. And I would suggest that you remember that the enemy of your enemy is not necessarily your friend. It might be your friend in political science. But in this case, the fact that the SEC is going after XRP, these actually are... Uh, these actually are bad people, in my opinion. They've enriched themselves on the back of the retail investor in the same way that Citadel, Citadel uh, has done it as well. If you hold on to your GME shares, there's no one, no one can force you to sell them. At some point, this is probably going to end badly for long GME holders. But it's a very, I think it's a very interesting standoff. And I think it's interesting to watch these distractions as they unfold. This is often what happens uh, at the center of revolutions. They're squabbling among the revolutionaries themselves. That, that appears to be what's happening over at Wall Street Bets. And I'm almost certain the group has been infiltrated uh, by people from Wall Street as well who are trying to find ways to stop this uh, standoff and get people to voluntarily exit their GameStop. I don't own any GameStop. I've been on the sidelines for this whole thing. But I think if you do, you should know uh, you should know the trade-offs here. If you're selling your GME shares, allowing allowing these large short short sellers to cover their positions by giving them your shares, by selling them their your shares, which they desperately desperately want to buy. If you're doing this to buy, participate in a silver squeeze. A silver squeeze, in spite of what people have been saying online, is not going to bring down J.P. Morgan. It's not going to cause any stress on Wall Street. It's not gonna. It may cause temporary stress at some of the clearing houses that uh, deal with the futures exchanges, where they might not be able to make a, a short-term delivery. But this is not near. Paradoxically, this is not nearly as uh, dangerous a thing 
for the system as people being long GME think it's a huge distraction. And I believe it's being done on purpose to pry people's GME shares away from their hands. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe and like button. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in your next video.